Bates Motel, Season 3, uh, here we are, Season 3, we're finally here. What do I think of Season 3? Uh, to step down from Season 2 and Season 1. Alright, so, I guess I'll just go through some good things first, uh, there's good acting, still, that's, that's a good thing, um, that's about it, really. <laughs> uh, okay, so, what this, I'm just gonna just... I'm so... I'm, I have a feeling this is gonna feel as if I'm just tearing this show to shreds at this point, but... I'm just gonna try and stay calm. Because I don't hate this season. I just don't think it's good. So, also, spoiler warning. Uh, I, I'm spoiling this entire season. If you're not... If you haven't watched the show, then I guess... And you want to hear my thoughts on it, uh... <laughs> I guess go watch season three, maybe, and then come back. But if you don't care about spoilers, just feel free to stay. <sighs> season three was very disappointing for me because there are things that I felt... I felt as if this show was going to get better as it went along. Because season one I thought was okay, and season two was above being okay. And this one was a big step down. And it pretty much just took every character and just made them annoying. None of the antagonists of the... F I was about to say film, sorry. Of the show. None of the antagonists of the show were threatening to me. I didn't feel scared for the characters because I found them to be really, really annoying. Norma Bates, she's annoying. I don't like her. She, her past, uh, I, I can feel sympathy towards her based on what she went through. However, her decision making is just, she makes the worst <laughs> decisions ever. She has no clue what she's doing. And she's just really irritating. And I know a lot of people disagree with me. I just find her really annoying in this show. Uh, Norman Bates. Here is where he kind of starts to embrace the, the, like, what we know him from Psycho, Alfred Hitchcock Psycho. He starts to embrace, like, evil and scary, but, and kind of just crazy. But now that he's starting to, I like him when he's normal, but now that we're getting more uh, and more of a crazy Norman Bates, I don't think he plays him that well. I just don't find him intimidating. They also brought back Bradley at the end of the show, or end, at the last couple episodes. That she was just point. That was pointless. I don't even know why they decided to even bring her back. Honestly, it's just oh, we so we can have an excuse so Norman can kill her. Why is every character that is not that's not really related to Norma outside of her family? Why is every single character either? Trying to make her life miserable, or just trying to get her into her pants. Why does every character she runs into do that? Why can't we have a character who doesn't do that? I mean, Sheriff Romero, oh, it was refreshing that in season one when he was, it was kind of just, it was somewhat refreshing, I guess, at the time, even though you wouldn't say that at the time, to see a character who isn't interesting interested at all in, <laughs> you know, what I'm getting at, but in season three, uh, that's kind of changed. It's like, really? I guess, uh, there, there's one thing that I forgot to mention in my review for season one and season two of Bates Motel, and that is, there are scenes that feel as if they do not have a beginning or an end. And I don't know why. Now you might be wondering, what do I mean? Oh, it just feels as if scenes are just kind of getting cut off at key moments, or maybe not key moments, or they just don't feel like they're complete scenes. They just feel, oh, this thing happened, this happened, this happened, this happened, but it doesn't ease you into anything. It doesn't let you take it in. It's just, it just kind of feels choppy, almost. Technically, I touched on this already, but 
Whenever this show tries to be, I guess, scary or suspenseful, that's when it's at its worst. It just has no idea how to build suspense or what makes a scene something scary. It just kind of does something and expects you to be scared. And there's blood and there's... It's violent. But that does not equal horror. And it's not even, like, disturbing. Sometimes it's even comical. I mean, not in season three, exact, entirely. I, I think uh, the best example of what... How the show handles horror is... It can be best described if I say it in which... What happens in the show, so... What happens? Uh... Dylan reveals to Norma that uh, he had uh, Caleb. He's been allowing him to stay with him and just, you know, helping him out with building a farm. And he says that he confesses to Norma that uh, he's been allowing Caleb to stay and that he's just asking... Why and Caleb wanted Dylan to ask her. Well, actually, that didn't happen in that order. But basically, what Caleb wanted to to say that he's sorry for everything that he did, and so Dylan decides to tell Norma this information. And what Norma does is she packs up her stuff and leaves, and kind of destroys a couple things. And at that moment, Norman starts freaking out because he wants his mother. And there's even a point where he just kind of blacks out and he's just saying the same thing. I want my mother. I want my mother. And uh, then it becomes to a point where he's, uh, he's wearing Norma's robe and he becomes N Norma Bates. And he's cooking breakfast at like 3 in the morning, and he's like, and he believes that he's Norma Bates, and he tells Dylan to go wake up your brother, otherwise he's going to miss breakfast. And it was, I think it was supposed to be creepy, but it just did not, it, it came off uh, almost comical to me, <laughs> because it was just so poorly presented. And I think it has to do with the writing and the writers not not really understanding what makes horror work and how you build up suspense or maybe it might be because of the directing or I don't know what happened. I don't know what went wrong. All I know is that it was handled poorly. And then eventually Norma returns because, you know, she's not going to stay away forever. I predicted that. I think everyone knew that was coming. And then after she comes back, uh, she tells Dylan and Norman to come with her so she can go see Caleb and let Caleb just talk to her. And he's like crying in front of her and on his knees and... And Dylan is just, everyone's just looking at him like, oh, this is such a beautiful moment. But Norman gives his, like, face, like. <laughs> and it's like, you're not intimidating. I'm sorry. <laughs> Super cheesy. His characters are either just annoying or they just don't feel real. That part when Norman, uh, not Norman, Norma, goes down to and asks what uh, the construction workers are doing in her, like, parking lot and say they're building a... Like, digging for a pool. And she's like, oh, that's nice. Okay, that's cool. I, I'd be happy to have a pool that's, like, 22 feet deep. So those are my basic criticisms with Bates Motel. It's not terrible, but it's a very frustrating experience, and... I have a feeling that the rest of it is either going to be really just as frustrating, if not more frustrating, to sit through, 
and I'm just going to be irritated the entire time, or is this going to be hilariously bad? Because that's where things are kind of going towards. Either just me not enjoying it at all on any level, or me just laughing at it. And I'm hoping it's that second one. I don't see the show getting any better than this. Should have uh, quit while I was ahead, but... You know, what, what you gonna do? I started this mess. And I guess I'm the only one who's gonna be able to end it. So I'm gonna give Base Motel Season 3 a 4 out of 10. You might have thought I was gonna give this show like, I don't know, a 2 or a 1. But it wasn't completely incompetent. There are moments that I enjoyed when it wasn't focus. Well, it's kind of just, there are plenty of parts that are okay, and th that's what prevented me from hating season three, were the parts that were okay, and there's plenty of parts that are okay, but, and I'm just not mentioning them here, because they kind of just leaked out of my head, and I don't remember them, but that's like, biggest positive I can say <laughs> for season three other than the acting and yeah so there's base motel season three not great I'm pretty sure a lot of people are going to disagree with me but if you I'm still happy that you took the time to listen to what I had to say what did you think of base motel season three I'm kind of frustrated at the moment but who knows where it's gonna go I guess that's one th good thing about it. I have no clue where it's going to go from this point. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed this review. And my social media links, they'll be in the description down below. So follow me there. And last but not least, subscribe to be a part of Fully Nation. And I'll see you when I get my next review up. But until I do that, thank you for watching and have a great day.